Dory is probably one of the most anticipated characters that Pixar has ever seen. Ooh. We all know that she started out as a secondary character in Finding Nemo, but she just kept swimming straight into our hearts. When life gets you down, you know what you gotta do? I don't wanna know what you gotta do. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, swimming, swimming. Welcome back to Daily List, I'm Azalea Hart. What is it about Dory that makes us love her so much? I know for me it's because she's voiced by Ellen DeGeneres and I think Ellen is the funniest person on the planet. So what about you? Comment below and let me know. So let's get into the list of 12 awesome Finding Dory facts. Hank the Octopus is the first kind of animation that Pixar's ever done. It took about a year to create a Hank that was worthy of showing it to the directors and so much back and forth between art and animation to get the tentacles just right. So get this, it took Pixar six months to even create one shot of Hank. This shot, from when we started to when this shot was finaled, I think it was two years. This specific scene. Yeah, because this was one of the first shots that they put into production. So that's part of the reason why Hank ended up having only seven tentacles instead of eight. At some point, they realized they didn't have enough room for his eighth tentacle and rewrote the entire story to make Hank a septopus. <laughs> That's okay, everybody does it. Nothing to be ashamed of. If you're wondering what's so different between Finding Dory and Finding Nemo, well, the main difference between the two is the kind of struggles the main character faces. Both Nemo and Dory have problems in and outside of themselves, but Dory's personal problems is a lot deeper as she deals with her short-term memory issue. Oh no, I'm sorry, I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. One, two, two. I like sand. So who doesn't love Disney Easter eggs? Riley from Inside Out makes a cameo in this film. She appears in a crowd of kids touring the Marine Life Institute and is clearly featured in a frame with Dory. This actor is featured in almost every Pixar film. In Finding Dory, he lent his voice to Bill, a grass clipping crab that Dory encounters in the movie. Finding Dory is the first Pixar sequel to have a different rating from the movie that came before it. Most Pixar films are rated G, but for some reason, Dory is rated PG. Did I miss something here? After Inside Out and Brave, Dory is the third Pixar film to have a female lead. Woo! Girl power! <laughs> the movie, if you notice, also has a lot of female characters. A lot of that is due to the fact that it also had a ton of female writers on the film. Yes! Who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Story came out six months after Finding Nemo, the story actually takes place only six months after. So the kid who played Nemo, Alexander Gold, is now a grown up. Gold still has a role in Finding Dory though as a voice of a truck driver. I love how once you're in the Pixar family, you're always in. I want to be part of the Pixar family. Because Alexander Gold is 22, 12 year old Hayden Rollins had to step in to voice the character. He was offered the job before recording ever began and had to keep it a secret from his friends and family. The idea for Finding Dory only came about in 2010 when the director Andrew Stanton watched Finding Nemo, which came out in 2003, just saying, for the first time. How he only watched it in 2010? is beyond me. But anyway, when he was watching it, he knew he had another story to tell, and that story was Dory's. My parents! I remembered them! What? What did you remember? I remembered them! My mom! My dad! Following the events of Finding Nemo, Dory found a new home with Marlin and Nemo. To better understand how she would adjust to her new family, yet still wonder about her past, animators study the psychology of adoption. Over 103,000 storyboards were created for Finding Dory. For reference, only 40 9,000 words submitted for Toy Story 3. If you think that's an amazing statistic, 289 million key animation frames were created for this film. Now that's impressive. The storyboard process on Finding Dory lasted for approximately three and a half years. So if you're just watching Finding Dory, you better watch it and you better appreciate it. So why was Finding Dory so successful? The writers wanted a movie that celebrated a character's disability and challenges as a superpower. And that's what it was for Dory. I know you're scared, but you can't give up. Follow me. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. All right, guys, that's it for this episode of Daily List, 12 amazing facts about finding Dory. If it's your first time here, be sure to hit that red button and subscribe so you don't miss an episode. You can also follow me on social media so you can see what I'm up to when I'm not in the studio. And I'll see you guys next time.